Today we will have a showcase for you to illustrate our teleoperation setup and we have the robot side, the, our manipulator called Anipulator which is equipped with a hand and we will control this uh, manipulator through, through our haptic device and we will introduce some latencies from 2G to 5G so that you can experience the difficulty of, of operation when we increase the delay and when we decrease the delay you will see that how 5G is going to perform with their really reduced latency. With the high delay it, uh, it's quite hard to control the robot, especially if you want to do precise motion or dexterous motion, like grasping the fruit. And it's, it's really hard to precisely locate and fulfill the task. With the delay of the 4G network, it already feels much more natural. You can do faster motion and you feel more confident about what you are doing. And it's even possible to grasp objects which are harder to manipulate, like the banana. With 5G, we have no delay, it's real time. And now the experience is really more immersive and it almost feels like I would move my own arm. In the near future, we would like to employ 5G communication for our teleoperated robots and we would like to get really instant communication between our teleoperators and operators so that, for example, in a severe situation, like a disaster situation for an earthquake or a nuclear plant explosion, we can send our teleoperators and teleexcavators so that we can perform remote operation and save human life there.